Hi, my name is Aaron and I'm from Igorot. I started taking photos with my mom's old camera and eventually I would try to find myself as an artist and discover that I loved fashion photography. Beautiful canvas. My project showcases people with non-stereotypical beauty, and so I focus on photographing people who had different conditions like alopecia and vitiligo. You recently grew eyelashes, that's all new. I was diagnosed with alopecia when I was eight, I'm 11 now. My son Jesse has been doing speeches at schools, talking about his alopecia to raise awareness, and he encourages others to embrace differences and celebrate themselves the way that they are. Turn to the side of it. For Jesse's photo, I purposely used the lampshades as a backdrop. If he did have hair, the lampshades wouldn't really have any meaning or have that connection with the shape of his head. Count me down and I'll look up. My name is Kylie. I lost my hair when I was 15 and it's right around the time that hair really is what makes our aesthetic. It's how we communicate. It's how people make assessments about us. Grab the camera. When Kylie started doing her poses, I was speechless. I was just trying to click as fast as I could to capture every moment because every shot was beautiful. It looks very simple, you know? Yeah. Brandon was actually pretty amazing because he really does look like he owns who he is and embraces himself as a person. I like these shots because they make you really glow. I think it'd be different if you had hair because it just take away the whole uniqueness and I think you really pop out without hair and really beautiful. It's like I'm not trying too hard. Brandon would always hide his alopecia. I learned he's comfortable in himself now, and he doesn't even have to wear a beanie or hide his alopecia. I'm a little nervous, but uh, I feel good. Patty has vitiligo, so I really wanted to use the lighting to really make her skin vibrant and stand out. Oh, there we go. It was just beautiful to capture. My idea of beauty has really changed because before, I mean, you can say you're confident, but until you look different to other people and you actually experience it, you have no idea what it is. Before, I would never be able to walk out with no makeup, but now I'm like, stare, dude. <laughs> you guys look amazing. I think they were the best photos I've taken throughout my entire life of doing photography because before my photos were really just based on an aesthetic, but now I think my perspective on beauty is really evolving and now my photos have more meaning and really conveys a powerful message. By being yourself and embracing your individuality, you can really make an impact and inspire other people to do their own thing.